Welcome. My name is Ken Stancer. I'm the music director and organist here at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Madison, Wisconsin. This summer we've been celebrating uh, the 20th anniversary of this pipe organ. This is the fourth video in our series, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about physics and math. First of all, in music in general, the longer a vibrating uh, object that's used to make music, the lower the pitch. So in a string instrument, the longer and thicker the string, the lower the pitch. Uh, any instruments that have tubes of metal or wood, there again, the longer that tube, the lower the pitch it can produce. So a, a pipe organ, as you can tell just by looking at the instrument, uh, has all kinds of different lengths of tubes, metal and wood. So the stops that we've talked about before and I've demonstrated have numbers by them. So I'm going to start with the eight-foot principle, which you've heard about before. And on our organ, we have a principle at eight, four, and two-foot pitch. Now, what does that mean? So the eight-foot principle, which I'm going to pull now, if I play the lowest key on the keyboard on that eight-foot stop, then that would correspond to a pipe that is approximately eight feet long. And those would be the pipes that are up in our center tower of the organ. So this is that sound. Now, if I go an octave higher on the same rank of pipes, of course, then the pipe would be approximately four feet long because it's half of the eight. Middle C then would be a pipe that's approximately two feet long heading on up the keyboard to the next two higher C's at one foot and six inches. Now, we also have, as you know, the principle at four and two foot pitch. So if I draw the four foot octave, which is a principle, and play the lowest key on the organ, then that pipe would start at four feet. with the two-foot principle. The lowest pipe on the, the two-foot stop, the lowest key on the organ, would be only two feet long to start. And then shorter as we go from there. Okay, so if I draw the eight-foot principle and play middle C, just getting one pipe. But if I draw the four foot principle on top of that, then I'm getting a second pipe that is an octave higher at the same time. Same width, adding the two foot. I'm going to play the eight foot principle first. pipes, and they are all an octave apart. So this is partly why the organ has such a grandeur when you're playing even just a chorale or a hymn tune. You have, in a standard hymn tune, we have four voice parts, and each one of those voice parts, if you're playing a single eight-foot principle, you would have four pipes, but as soon as you add a four-foot stop, or even another eight foot stop or two foot stop, you keep increasing the number of pipes that are sounding for each of the voices of the hymn. Now I want to talk just a little bit about the overtone series. Some of you have maybe heard of this idea. Uh, first of all, let's just define a couple of, of terms that are related to our understanding of the overtone series. First of all, just a tone in and of itself, is a musical sound that rings at a certain frequency. 
the frequency determines what pitch the tone will sound. Frequency, the number of vibrations per second. Frequencies are measured in hertz. So for example, the note A at 440 hertz vibrates at a frequency of 440 times per second. Many of you know that that's the tune the oboist gives to tune the orchestra. So a hertz, then, is the unit of measurement that is determined by the amount of times that something vibrates in a second. The next term is fundamental. This is the most prominent tone that rings out. The tone that rings as the fundamental is often the note that is played. So for example, if you play A above middle C, as I did before, that, then that note, A440, is considered the fundamental. This is usually the most audible tone. Now here we get into what is called the overtone. Overtone is a frequency or a tone that is added to another tone. And this can also be referred to as a harmonic or a partial. So the fundamental is considered the first harmonic or the first partial. And then every pitch that you can hear after that is considered the second, third, fourth, fifth, and on harmonic or partial. So I want to demonstrate this now as it relates to the organ. So in the overtone series, the fundamental is the first, the primary pitch that we hear, but in our head we can hear additional pitches while that fundamental is sounding. So the, the first partial that we can hear is an octave. The next one is a fifth higher, and then another octave, then a major third, then another fifth, and then a seventh. And we can even hear beyond that in some cases. So most of the stop numbers on the organ are, are even numbers, 16, 8, 4, 2. And so as I showed you before, if I play the A foot principle, in that tone, I can also hear an octave higher by not even adding the octave stop, but I can hear it in that tone. Now, we do have a couple of stops on the organ that are called mutations. And mutations are in the overtone series, but they're numbers that would have a fraction behind them. So on our organ here, we have the Nazard two and two thirds. So if I play on the top keyboard my eight foot fundamental, and then I add the Nazar two and two thirds, I'm going to be getting a sound that is an octave and a fifth higher than the fundamental. And that is one of the uh, pitches in the overtone series. Now, if I start again with the eight foot flute and add the four foot flute, I'm getting an octave higher, and then I'll add the two and two thirds, which gives me the fifth higher than that. That's all just with playing one single pitch. If I pull out those extra stops, at four foot pitch and two and two thirds foot pitch, then I'm really getting three pipes. Two of them are the same, C and an octave above C, and then a fifth above that C, which would be a G. So I'm getting two unison pitches or two pitches of one letter and one of another. We have the same kind of thing can happen on this organ with a stop that we call the cornet, which is a three-rank stop right here. And the cornet 
is a blend of three different ranks. So I only have to pull the lever once, but I'm actually going to get three pipes sounding for every key I play from that stop. And they would be a two and two thirds, a two foot, which is two octaves above the fundamental, and a one and three fifths, which is a major third and two octaves above the fundamental. So here would be the eight foot sound. And here with the three upper ranks added, that gives me four pipes. And then if I go ahead and add the four foot to that, as I did before, I'm getting that color sound. And then we also have one other category of pipes on organs called mixtures. And this organ has a, a mixture. And mixtures are simply more unison pitches and also pitches that are a fifth away from the fundamental. So it's a, um, octaves and fifths that are added to the fundamental stops. So here's the eight foot principle on middle C again. And the mixture added. is most effective when we have a full set of foundation stops pulled. So if I have eight, four, and two, and then mixture, we get this sound. And then for every key I add to the chord, I'm getting lots more pipes that are sounding. overtone series and there's also all kinds of things you can read about the overtone series but I just wanted to give you a little basic introduction to that today. Thanks for joining us for this video.